Hi everyone, Hi. we're the Stitch Sisters and we've made a video today um, to show you our beautiful duvet dresses. <gasps> These were duvets. And now they're dresses. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Um, Ikea do basically. Ikea, so, no, no less. No yes. less, exactly. Uh, what we decided, we've been talking a lot recently about how much we've been spending on fabric. We have to whisper it. There aren't any husbands in, but no. um, just in case. Yeah, uh, just between <laughs> you and us. We are, especially after our recent trip to London, and um, we have been spending quite a lot of money recently on fabric, just because yes. there's so much lovely stuff that we want. Yeah, and we want to make. Exactly. Um, and we are constantly saying to our sewers in class that sewing doesn't have to be an expensive hobby, that you no. don't have to spend a fortune on fabric, <laughs> and we're totally not practising what we preach. No. So, we thought... We had a challenge, didn't we? We thought we set ourselves a challenge um, of making a dress in every... So, on a trip to Ikea, we suddenly went... <gasps> Let's <laughs> exactly. So I purchased this duvet for the princely sum of four pounds. Four pounds. And they're only single duvets. You don't need any more than a single duvet. No, that's As long right. as it's the same fabric on both sides. Yeah. And even then, we had lots left. And yeah. we still had pillowcases and things. Exactly. Nikki's is the upmarket version. You paid what for yours? £12 oh, for yes. mine. A pricey, pricey and, version. And uh, they are slightly different. Yours is slightly more gauzy it's, than Yeah, it's, it's a bit like a like a, uh, like a gauze, like a, almost like bandage <laughs> fabric. Um, it's nice, though. But it's actually turned out lovely. And it reminds me of a bit of like cheesecloth so yeah, it'll lovely. be really nice to wear on a, on a very hot day it'll keep you nice and cool yes the lining um, <gasps> is we've also, gone the whole hog <laughs> that is a fitted sheet yes uh, which i think <laughs> cost about one pound 69 also from ikea <laughs> Um, and we've so got loads of that left too. when you think about it duvets are a really really cost effective way to make dresses especially because dresses especially uh, vintage style dresses often take an awful lot of fabric in a full yeah, skirt it feels good. Um, but yeah. even a single duvet uh, which is usually one and a half meters by two meters mm -hmm. times two front and back um, so that will give you four meters of dressmaking width fabric yes and then, like Nikki said, you've got the pillowcases. Yep. So if you need a bit extra. extra for pockets or collars or yes. cuffs or any other little details, um, then you can get those out of the pillowcases. So it is a really cost-effective way to sew, especially it if is. you pick them up. Four pounds. That was that was the bargain of the day. The four pound duvet cover. So we thought we'd make the same pattern. So we, I had this in my stash for ages. So it's the Vogue V nine one hundred. And it's a nice sort of princess seam dress. I loved the low front, but also it's got a low back as well mm -hmm. on it. And you can see from the pictures on the back, it's got a nice full skirt, just a zip up the back. And it's a very easy Vogue. Now, you, I, I have to admit that um, I was mm -hmm. teaching one night and Rachel just whipped them up. So you Yeah, I sewed three together. quarters of them and I did them just as a production line, just yeah. um, did them both each step uh, for both dresses together. Um, and it really sewed up very quickly. And the reason why we thought it would be a quick and simple one is because princess seams I find are always better for fitting because you've got more places that you can adjust the fit. Mm. But actually, we haven't adjusted the fit at all. No. It is one of those patterns that comes with multiple cup sizes. Um, so I cut us both a size 14, which is actually a size smaller than the size chart would recommend. For our measurements, we would have cut a 16. We um, well. But as it happens, the version that we had um, had a maximum size of 14, so clearly we had to go for that one. Um, <laughs> but uh, because there are different cup sizes, with the C cup, it gave us just the right amount of ease, and we wanted it to be a nice close yes. fit. Um, the best thing about it is it does also have pockets. Da, da, da. Which awesome makes pockets. every dress better. Yeah, I love a full skirt with pockets. So, uh, yes, pockets is, is always a winner in our book. Um, and and I, like um, the, I like the fact the very last thing that we did was that when we inserted the shoulders into yeah. each other, that gave you a lot of um, fit as well. It did. So you can adjust them so that it properly sits where you want it to go. Yeah. And it's not going to ride off my shoulder anytime No, soon. it's one of those patterns where uh, they leave the shoulder till last. So you make up the bodice, you make up the lining, you sew them together around the neckline, the armhole, leaving mm -hmm. the shoulders open. Um, yeah. Is that it actually leaves a section open uh, on one side of the armhole mm. so that you have access to 
the full seam when you need to sew the shoulder together um, and then you can just hand stitch it. the opening closed so it is a very nice clean way of doing it but because you're doing the shoulder last then it mm. means that if you need to take your shoulders up then you, you can, can. Yeah. oddly enough even though I have sloping shoulders and always have to make shoulder adjustments I didn't <laughs> I did and Nikki had to so that was a bit weird we've never had that happen before no but, it, but I'm really pleased with the fit of it yeah and, um, very it's, comfy. It's, it's come whilst it is a very with... close fit it is very comfy it doesn't feel yeah. like it's restricting in any way um, and I love the low neck um, and, and I um, love the low back yes Woo. often nice. uh, with a lot of vintage patterns the bodices tend to be quite high necked um, mm. and um, maybe they were more demure in those days um, but we quite like to get the girls up so yeah um, <laughs> it's quite Why nice every now and again slightly lower <laughs> neck um, so anyway we're going to insert some video now so you can have a look at them in full action yes um, so here's Rachel's coming up now Rachel's like I'm not myself like, third person third person <laughs> I'm now the queen <laughs> uh, Rachel's is coming up now um, and uh, and now so... Nikki's will be coming up now as yes. well <laughs> Excellent. So we really hope that you've enjoyed seeing yes. our duvet dresses and uh, we'll be back soon. We've got a couple of other tutorials planned. Yes. A um, couple of quick makes that you can do yourself at home. And also we're going to be filming one of our lovely classes tomorrow night. So yeah. you can all see what it's like behind the scenes. Uh, at Sobri Sewing School. At uh, Sewing School, we'll be making camper van cushions with some of our lovely regulars. Excellent. So you'll see that coming up soon as well. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.